What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about some of the things you should do with your free ESO Plus trial. I know some of you have probably experienced the free trials before. Some of you may be new to the game. You've not been able to have a free, uh, free ESO Plus experience. They do these just a couple times a year, but there are a lot of advantages that you get from this, even if you don't plan on getting ESO Plus down the road. The first thing would be cleaning out your inventory. If you have multiple characters, if you have a bank full of gear, if you have a bank full of anything and you want to transfer it, of course, over to your crafting bag, you can do so. If you want to go out and farm material, it's a good time to do that. Also, breaking down material that will go into your crafting bag. Uh, the good thing about the crafting bag is if you kind of can see it here, uh, all my items that I've had in here forever, of course, you can go through the list all the way down. Uh, all of this stuff is still accessible even if your ESO Plus membership has ran out. So once it uh, runs out on June the 21st, the free ESO Plus trial, you can still go in and access these items. You can go in and retrieve them from your bag. You just can't add anything new to your bag. So a lot of people go out and just farm mats during the ESO Plus free trial. That way they can just fill up on mats. They don't have to worry about once the trial is over, uh, going out and collecting mats again and having one back in their inventory or their bank or whatever the case may be. Another thing you can do, of course, is dye costumes. You can see this is one of the costumes in game. I have it dyed uh, purple and white. Just I thought it looked cool. Uh, but anyway, um, you can go in and dye costumes. Dyeing costumes at the outfit station is free to ESO Plus members. Uh, it doesn't cost you any gold whatsoever. The great thing, once again, once the ESO Plus membership is over, these costumes will stay dyed whatever color that you have selected. So that's something else to kind of keep in mind. One of the great things, of course, about ESO Plus is you have access to all of the new uh, or in past DLC. The only DLC you will not have access to, of course, is the Blackwood chapter, but everything else that's in the game will be available. So I would highly recommend going in, visiting some of these zones, uh, playing some of the dungeons that you might have, you may not have got to play yet because they're DLC dungeons. And I would also really recommend trying to do some of the scrying from Greymore. Now that is a grind. It takes a long time. So if you don't have a ton of time to play between now and when the plus free trial ends on the 21st of June, um, you may not want to do this, but if you do have a lot of time, I would recommend go in, uh, going in and scrying. The easiest way, and there's a lot of guides out there, so you might want to look some of those up, but the easiest way to rank up scrying is go to Arteum here in Somerset, uh, or of course, which is a part of the Somerset chapter. Grind out all of these leads up here. There's going to be a green, blue, and purple lead. Just do those over and over and over until you hit around level 5 to level 7 scrying. Then what you're going to do is go to every zone in the map, so each individual zone, and do the green, blue, and purple in each zone. So you're going to do the green, blue, and purple in each zone one time, and then move on to the next zone once you hit five or seven in scrying. This way is the quickest way that anybody's figured out how to do it. Uh, the great thing about this is if you have the time uh, between now and when the plus trial ends, you'll be able to go out and actually do some mythics. Uh, you'll be able to go out and farm some leads for some mythics. Now, I know, like I said, this is going to take a lot of time. So if you're not someone that has a lot of time between now and the 21st when it ends, you may not want to do this, but if you do have a lot of time, you've got several days to play, you might want to try to grind out that scrying uh, and try to go out and get you some mythics. Also, I mean, later on down the road, they'll have the game on sale, so you can purchase like some of these DLCs. You can even purchase your ESO Plus for another month if you just want to, you know, go out and try to get some of the mythic items. Uh, if you get close to getting scrying done or you start finding a lot of leads and you want to kind of mess around with those. I know a lot of people do that when the ESO Plus trial is kind of going on. They will just grind out, you know, leads and grind out the... Um, doing this crime because it is one of the more kind of tedious tasks in game. Anyway, guys, these are just some things that you can do. One other thing real quick before I forget, uh, or almost did forget, excuse me, is you can decorate your homes. You can go in and actually have that access to those extra, uh, you know, decoration slots. Once again, if it ends, those slots will still be there. Uh, you, the items that you have you will be able to stay in your house. So let's say you have a house that is a, one of the mansions and you have up to 700 pieces of furniture in that home. The great thing about uh, the ESO Plus trial is you can put in all those 700 pieces. Once that uh, ESO Plus trial ends, those 700 pieces will still remain in your home. Just remember, if your trial is over, if you start taking furniture out of your house, you won't be able to place it back in because it'll say it's full because you know it's going to drop that amount to back down to its normal amount uh, that's not included with Plus. But anyway, you can decorate your house and you know, put some more decorations in it, that kind of thing. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.